and as always, thank you for watching. Today we have a uh, truck with a framed dump trailer that has rolled over, uh, still partially filled with gravel. Uh, it's not blocking an interstate. There's nobody injured. Just uh, shaking up a little bit. Uh, we're gonna take the rotator, a little Pete, and trap control because they said it's apparently kind of tight space up in there. So. We shall see when we get there. Here we go. Yep, this is where they said to go. We are looking for something that doesn't quite look right. A truck that's on its side. That doesn't look right to me, or it wouldn't. What's that up there? I see something up in the woods. Oh, that's just an old uh, farmhouse or something, isn't it? Ooh, watch that bridge. But you were going to that. It says keep, keep going a little bit, yeah. Uh, that's cabled off anyway, that entrance is. Still look cleaned up that it was in the picture I've seen. Okay. Well, it should be at a New construction site or something, or something, yeah. Dirt, dirt path or something, maybe. Fresh. Well, that dirt. pond is dry, dry, uh, dry. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes pond. In 800 feet, your destination. Hey, here comes somebody. I see a truck. Yeah, I think I see it. That's a lot worse than I thought. Well. It's on a downhill. Oh, heads down? That's no bueno. Them up. The field looked flat in the picture. <laughs> That's not flat. Yeah. Let's stop That's why out. You can't ever judge pictures. Yeah, let's stop out here and walk in. Yeah, there's a culvert right here. Yep, I see it. So I don't want anyway. Let's go see what's semi not as steep. Now it's it still heads down though. Howdy, howdy. Well, let's see what we got. Other than one on its side. Well, I hope you do better than all the other time, but that don't look right. Ah. I didn't just drive by though, I stopped to help. I know, I drove by and the road. That don't look right. I said, you know, that's a new stop. not very efficient. Alright. That's a gravity down cylinder. Yep. Because it's so, in the down position because I was trying okay, to... Okay, you held it down? Okay, good deal. That way... When it started to go, I thought okay. I could shift the weight back down. Okay. So, if it's in the down position, we should be able to pull the box and collapse that cylinder and then tire it together. Tire together. Yes, sir. I didn't wear the claw to push it down and then turn sideways and hang on. Whoo, she's still got a fair bit of rock on her. Yeah, but the tarp's holding. Is it? Over there, quite a bit of it. Because if you look on the other side, the tarp's got quite a bit of it. Yep, it does. Um, That's awesome. Since the tarp's already ripped, do you mind if we cut it and try to dump some more of this gravel out? No, I'm, I think I'm going to save the tarp. Either that or do you want us to pull it up? I mean, we can pull it that way some too and save some of the gravel for up here. I'll get to dig it out by hand either way. So. Okay. Cut it, cut it. All right, well, Whatever. I need to go grab some gloves. All right, guys, start looking for uh, setup points here that are solid. For our trucks, and then we're gonna we're gonna have to get first priority. First priority after we get the uh, tarp cut, uh, 
So we'll get the box collapsed. He said the uh, cylinders are, or the valve is already in the down position. It's a gravity down cylinder. So we should be able to just grab a hold of the uh, one of the frame runners and pull it up to the tractor. Hopefully it'll come with us instead of having a snatch block off the frame. If we have to snatch block off the frame, we'll snatch block off the frame. If we do that, it pulls them, it sucks them together like that. Because um, right now she's in a pretty good line for us once we get the box in. Uh, those are our two priorities for now. I want the rotator up here on the nose, probably, depending on how much we get out of the back. If we don't get much more out of the back, we may have to have it on the back side. Help. Start cutting the tarp. I'm gonna go get my gloves and. Oh, I got mine. Okay. Uh, yes, no. Yeah, it's fine. I just I was gonna get some gloves and climb up there, climb on the top of the trailer. Right here, you can just. Yeah. yeah. Well, the good thing is with that eighty thousand pounds, at least gravity's going downhill. Well. So. Right there's eighty thousand pounds. You've seen what I drove across the field here. So, oh yeah, it, it's pretty. Dry. It's it's dry right now. Yeah, I mean it. Broke off the hinge up here. Yeah, do what? Broke off the hinge right here. Oh no. Okay, that's a good catch. Cause we would have had a uh, major. Oh crap! Yeah, I see it. I see it from here. We're gonna have to chain that. Uh, yeah. The this corner is not attached to the frame. We're definitely right up here, bud. Yeah, I'm seeing the other one. Yeah, the other one's good. The other one's good. Yeah. Yep, it's good. Yeah, this one's all the way off, too. Oh, yeah. 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 All right. So we're going to have to get a chain around it, too. All right, go ahead. Luckily, there's a good spot to hang it all through here. Right through here. Yep. That or this one, too, because there's air hoses here. Yeah, either way. Well, we may end up doing that once we get to bed. We may end up doing that once we get to bed collapsed. Go ahead and cut the tarp, bud, and let's uh, see if we can get some of that rock out of there. Might get a little bit, huh? It might might dump a little more out, might and then as we uh, pull, pull the box. watched one roll just like this the other day yeah we did Ethan saw it I heard it but I didn't see it cut it all the way through if you can bud there you go all right well we didn't lo didn't lose much but it'll help us when we bring it up that way it's not fighting that tarp hopefully the tarp was already ripped off most yeah of it, so. yeah I know all right Come on down, let's start getting her set up. So you're going to position the rotator in the front. You want the mini. Well, little Pete can be probably right about here, right, right against this little swag. With it. That way we can spike the rears, pull the rears down. Hopefully, I'll get the. So the rotator's got a. De we've got a decent drive up here. Do what, bud? Go ahead and get it up here. Yeah, go ahead and get the. Do you have room to swing in there, around me? Sure I do. Okay. Looks like it. Let's see how solid this is here. He said he's been blading it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Somebody help spot Ethan, please.
Yeah, I know it. And it comes in which way? It comes in, you see where the three row posts are right there? Yep. It comes in, you just go past it a little bit and it just loops all the way around this way. Okay. I may end up, I don't know, depends on, Well, like I said, it, if I can swing that, I'll just swing that and be right here. Right up against that ridge, pretty close, in line with the uh, trailer axles. Yep. But I want the spades so that they dig down in here. Okay. Use that. Use that embankment. Yep. Or exactly. Right. exactly. Yes. Correct. That is correct. This one's wider. Okay. I'll. Okay. I'll just swing in this one then. The only concern I had was this one feels a little loose, but. Well, it was just put in yesterday. Aha. Uh -huh. That's the reason why I didn't go in there. Gotcha. Is it safe then? You think? Well, I mean, they put a bunch of rock and two inch rock there. I mean, you get kind of hung up. We got a tractor. Also got a whole bunch of trees. Not very big ones. Not very big ones, yeah. but. They use a couple of them. You tie, tie enough of them together. All right, Mike, you want to spot me? Yeah, you grab my uh, coffee out of your floorboard. <laughs> you don't want me to spill your coffee? Yeah, I'm gonna come in on this one. It's hard on that drop axle. First things first. Yeah, it's all right. We, we can throw those cleats down. Uh, with it, the only thing I'm concerned about is that dead gum box, and I wonder if we ought to, if we can't get it fully collapsed, wonder if we ought to uh, throw a strap around it because it's still got quite a bit of rock in it. Yeah. 
I shouldn't need to, but I'm gonna go ahead and stretch my legs out too. Oh, nope, there. That's not how it goes, but. You put through here, Yep, it goes through, goes through there. Do this, but I can get in there. Ah, now you can. Should be able to. Or come in from the under each side. We got it. There you go. All right. Coming out. Underage coming down. Watch your head. Gavin, where's your hard hat, bud? Okay. Thank you. No sense working off the side on this one. Not in my opinion, anyway. All right, now, let's get... Uh, Let's get a chain around the front of that box on the low side and let's see if we can uh, pull that box in. Well, we'll try it with one, but I want, I need one off of here. Okay, that's a great direction. Yep. Uh. Bring it out in a good head. There you go. There you go, bring her around. And just so everybody else knows, I did set the winch brake on the little beak just in case. Okay. Out a little I got the spades down, I didn't know if they were down yeah. far enough or if they uh, well, I was just saying in case anybody tries to once it's or Once it starts, it's on free wheel. Go ahead. Now, what we'll have to watch out, we don't want that cable running over that. We'll come underneath or you want? Let's see what happens when we put tension on it. Okay. It might come just above it. Okay. If it does, that's good. Uh, well, no, wait a minute. The way you've got it routed, that frame needs to come right down on top of this, doesn't it? Isn't that where it sits? Yeah, right here. So this under. needs to come under. It has to come under then so that we can get the bed all the way collapsed if it will. All right, let me get the remote. Everybody ready? Hey, uh, Dalton, yep. you know how to get our headsets together, right? Get our, grab our headsets. 
but I want somebody watching that while I tug on it. So right now we're just trying to collapse the bed, right? Right now all we're doing is collapsing the bed and it's going to, hopefully as it comes towards us, you know, the this will stay put and the box will come towards us. Otherwise, we're gonna have to redirect off this uh, frame, yeah. like I was telling you earlier, and scissor them back together. Uh, I think the way it's sitting, it'll... Oh, no! Still gonna be running we need a wood block or something. Yeah, it's gonna run right up. I'm as low it as... It have to be super big, Gavin. I'm as it's low as I can get with it. Shorter block. Yeah, it's a little four by four. There you go. Yep, that'll work. work. It right inside that frame there, bro. Problem is, it's going to hit that chain, and well, once it gets to the chain, though, it won't matter. Yeah. We just want to shorten the chain too if we need. Yeah, let's be all right. Probably be better. It would be oh. better if we lengthened the chain and got the chain or get the cable on this side of that bottom frame rail. Well, yeah, I thought you were just saying whenever it hits the chain, it's going to. Everybody clear? Out. Okay, it's snug. I'm gonna wait till we get comms. Everybody hold. You gotta wear the high vis, Kevin. I know, I should have. Uh, we're, on, we're on private property, no traffic. It is not required to wear high vis. Even though it's a work zone, as long as we have comms. You'll still stand out on the brown dirt wearing your black and pink part, man. Yeah, the pink, the pink sets you apart. Main, yep, I need the main. People love the pink cat. Yeah, that's that's why I threw on this uh, summer one because it was. I didn't even think about grabbing the shirt up. Well, I mean, it was I what? Told me, but I didn't know. It got hot quick. It was 23 degrees this morning, and it was 60 on the way over here. Yeah. That's why I like these bits because they're thin. I can wear them whatever. All right. All right, everybody get your comms on. Here, Gavin. No, nope. that'll hurt your head. Trust me. There you go. You should be, can you hear me? Yep, good. And on, all right, Dalton, you're on. Gavin, you're on. Let's get Mike and Ethan on. <laughs> Mike, you good? Talk back to me, okay? Ethan, you got comms? Okay, all right. I want somebody at the tailboard I want somebody in front of the truck watching what's going on while I'm pulling. And then somebody else over here with me, helping me watch everything. You're going on, Mike, you're gonna be on the front. Gavin, you're gonna be on the back. All right, if anything looks wrong, stop, stop, stop. Three times, stop, stop, stop. All right, Mike, are we good? Just a little tension at a time is all I'm gonna do. We'll give the fluid time to, we'll get, give the fluid time to go back into the reservoir. Binding up a little bit. Hey, hey, Mike, are we going to get caught up on that gate uh, panel that's there? I think it's, I think it's from the floor. Here, I'm letting off on the tension. Okay, tension's loosened. Okay, we're clear of the clear of the. Okay. All right, tension going back on. 
and there is a lot of tension on this thing. Just a little at a time. I'm, there we go. Well, the cylinder's hanging down and it's, it doesn't like to go back into the... Oh, it's tweaking in the middle, hold on. What is? We, yeah, it's coming though. That's why, that's why I said we just go small, small moves, little at a time. Watch yourself by that cable, Ethan. What is it? The board. Okay. Scoot it into the mud flap. Well, it's into the hook is what's happening. That the hook is coming and grabbing the block. Yep, let me take the pressure off. Let's go ahead and take that flap out. Yep, it's got a cotter key right there. Just take that flap out. And let's lengthen that chain so that our cable, even if you grab another chain, it's okay. Grab a different chain. I want to lengthen the chain so that our winch, uh, the winch cable needs to come past that frame. All right, go ahead. We got him, all right. Just grab the other, the, a dual hook. No, the other frame hook won't work unless you, uh, well, yeah, it, it'd work. But you won't be able to. Say there's a, you get a hammer, okay. Ethan, there's a sledge. But I don't That's know good. About it. Tell me that wasn't, tell me that wasn't a hard pull. Mm -hmm. It's got me scooted back. Yeah. Yeah, it's pulling, uh, trying to pull that fence with it a little bit too now is it that's what i was part of what i was concerned about yeah do we need to get a strap in here can we get a strap in here should be able to do what i'd like to have a strap under there Let me look. I don't know. Tight, what about our yeah, uh, yeah I got, I got right here. all right i want to i want to yep Tension loosened. All right, you guys work on that. We're gonna work on getting a strap set under here. Cause since the chain, I want the chain extended so that it comes out past the frame. Now watch the twist. Hey guys, watch the twist in the chain. You always want your chain to be straight, the links. You don't want it twisted. Hold on, before we go any further, yeah, I can, I can take the winch in a little bit, but I don't want to put much pressure on it. We want a strap right under there because this thing is so heavy. It's got so much rock in it. I want a strap on that back end so that sidewall doesn't blow out. Let's get us a, uh, a 20, 20 foot. I want a 20 foot. And let's get it run through there and anchored in. Yes. Now the, the 20 foot wide yellow. Yep, the re genuine recovery straps. Not the, not the endless loop slings, but the recovery straps. And then that'll that'll free me up. I can use I can use one of the auxiliaries.
all right no that's all right take it that way but we want a uh, rope or something tied to the end of that so that we can feed the rope through and then pull that the rest of the way through we'll never get that pushed through with that pole i don't think uh, um, can can right here, can you get through it i think so right here well if you can get through it we'll do it that way uh you want me to you want me to pull it through dalton yeah if you can go th i'll go around and okay. stick it. i'm afraid that gravel is going to be there though no it's open right there is it yep. okay you can see daylight good deal yep. good deal Yeah, we got a little space back here. Either that or you guys can get in here with sh Oh my God. <laughs> Kevin, you should see your face. <laughs> All right, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You don't even know. That was the best part. This is Facebook worthy. Yeah. Is it? Like, how'd that even happen? You got... <laughs> Sorry, bud. We got to have fun with Look, it. It's game time, okay? I had to get my... There you go. There you go. Anyway, I started to say we could always get you all in here with shovels and just empty the rest of this out. Yeah, but the skid steer wouldn't work here because we got a drop off. Yeah, right. Don't go and get it through there. There's a fence down here. I'm going to try snatching on the dang fence. Biggest problem. Got it, Mike? It's almost here. Help feed it through if you can, guys. Watch, watch your footing. Watch your footing. Now, don't go down that hill. Oh, it's got barbed wire right there. Hey, it's got barbed wire right there, which is going to. Turn it a little bit. Which way? Clockwise. Turn it clockwise. Now give it a little pull, maybe. Lost. Well. Well, no. yeah, like Dad said, there's barbed wire right there. Yeah. Wait, hey, I'm hold on. I'm gonna go get my side cutters. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut that barbed wire. They're gonna have to fix the fence anyway. Hold on, guys. Let me get that. Let me get that fence cut. What are you gonna need, Mike? I'm working on it. I got them in my hand, coming back your way. There you go, Mike. Oh, it's right there too. Yeah, we got it bound out. Maybe this one snipped. This one snipped. All right, this will be. I'll just cut that back now. Oh, I'm going to. I have to get yeah. them two out of there. Yeah. This this line here, this hook, will go to uh, overhead line yeah. on the wrecker. And that strap's going to slide backwards a little bit until it gets purchased. Mm -hmm. I just hope it doesn't crush the bed, but I think the bed's about done for. Anyway. Unfortunately, there you go. You got it. That's good. That's good. All right. Hold on. Let's let's let us get done here, and we'll come back around. This will have to go just up on the top. Just yeah. Just set it up there for now, and then we'll anchor the other side off. Just right up there. Good for now. Nope, that's all we need for now. 
Thank you, though. That's it. No, 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 no. Okay. Nope, that needs to come back. Right there's an excellent hole for a chain. Right there. Well, first, we're gonna have to get the bed collapsed. We wanted to, uh, we wanted to get this in place before we lost everything. Yep, let's get a chain right here. Yep, let's get a chain and get this hooked in. Toolbox, tool bag. Yes, please. Thanks, sir. And we're not gonna do anything else. No, hold on, Ethan. We're not gonna do anything else until we get the bed collapsed. Okay, all right, just be careful. I just didn't want to lose our progress. Just take one of the long ones, that's fine. I don't, yeah, the, the blue 10 footers, whatever is fine. I'd rather the chain go under the trailer anyway than our strap. Just... Either. Either way, whatever whatever's in your hand, just bring it. All right. Short loop here. Yep. No. All right. Now, somebody else, Gavin. Either get me some uh, uh, mechanics wire or duct tape. Now, just go through that hole there, Mike. We'll come in from up here or come in from underneath? I'd come in from underneath. Yep, that's why I picked it. That's why I did that. Short there. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, that way, I, yeah, I want I want the chain over more. Especially over that chain yep. right there. Yep, exactly. Yep, that'll work. You've been doing playing football? It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So good. Yeah, hold up. Five paint. Hold on, everybody's... Uh, okay, bro. Mike, can you hold that up for me? All right. Does anybody know why we're doing this? Make sure the chain don't come. Make sure the chain don't come loose. Correct. Once that chain's under there, if it were to come loose, we'd have no way, and we would lose our progress. No way to grab it. So we we duct tape it, or if we had mechanics wire, we could wire it together. Whatever. Mechanics wire a little easier to get back off. Yeah. <laughs> and you ain't gotta use that. You ain't gotta use as much of it to make sure it stays. I think that's good. Yeah. I think All right. Good. You gonna do that one up there too, Mike? While we're here or no? No, we can't. I don't think we have to worry about this one too much, but we can. I would just just to be safe. All right, Ethan, you can start pulling slack. You can start. Oh, you're there. You were there. Okay. I'm just gonna say we could pull tension out now. Well, let's pull it. Let's pull from the bottom and get this strap as far underneath as we can before we start sliding that box. Go straight through with it, Gavin. You see the advertisement for the, the alien tape? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like sticky on both sides. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Hold on, just a second. Okay, now try it. There you go. Got caught on a root. Keep going, keep it going, keep it going. All right, once the chain is on the other side, we can stop. If the chain's on the other side, we can stop. Okay. Everybody, come on out, and we'll finish. You want to drop that down? 
Over this? Yeah. I think that's starting to look a little, I don't know. Do what? I thought the end of it was looking kind of rough. Oh, where's the pin? Where'd the pin go? Uh-oh. Safety uh -oh. pin. Car, we lost the car pin. Uh, it's probably somewhere between here and the other side of the trailer. If I was a, bet, if I was a betting guy. Okay, just pins. just go borrow borrow one off of a different. Got a pin from the mud flap. It's sitting on the on the bracket on the bracket of the mud flap. Oh, over there. Over there. All right, I'm gonna start pulling in the blue line. Not gonna put tension on it yet, but I'm gonna start just pulling it in. No. Hop down, please. That will that will go to one of my high lines off the rotator. Okay? Nope. The little Pete is going to spike both sets of axles back here. Okay? Then I'm going to get a high line on that. Just let, let's do one step at a time, guys, okay? Let's do one step at a time. All right, everybody take your places back again. Mike up front, Gavin in the rear. All right, we're going to... Yep. All right, ready? Here we go. Boy, look how much it's pulled me back. That's all right. And anyway, we can cut the mats where it's gone. Okay. Yeah. yeah, get that, uh, get those side cutters. Get those. Mike, no, Mike, put them back. Let's get. Yeah, any any little advantage we can get. Let's get that fence out of the way. Everybody, everybody on the low side, and just yeah. start lifting. All, all the tall people, so I don't count. Me, me, and Mike, me and Mike are up here on the high side. All right, non-essential talk to a minimum, please. All right, essential, essential talk only, please. earlier about that fence panel <laughs> all right pressure's off yeah somebody go down and help mike please all right ethan and dalton wild all right we're gonna to have to chain those axles. Yep. We're also gonna to have to chain this and we're gonna to have to chain it back here since it is uh, broke loose on that back corner and we've got a lot of weight back there. So, hold on, um, hold on just a second. I wanna see, I was hoping that we could get it, hoping we could get it to where it would uh, come back into its, uh, locked position on both sides of it may have to come back and lift some but well, that's what i was saying if you get a higher pull on it you may be able to kind of well let's let's see some of that it it may lift right now everybody everybody clear all right i need my front and rear eyes please all right we're coming in There she went, popped into place just like that. 
Sweet! All right, chain that box down. Just three eighths chains and a binder, and let's get her get her tied down. Stay. Yes, chain the axle. If drive axle over here. Both both drive axles, since they are air ride, will have to be chained. All right, I'm gonna see if I can let off and if the uh, box stays put. Mike, are you clear? All right, did the box stay? All right, here we go. Uh, we need at least two binders, one for the front and one for the rear. I don't want that box going anywhere. You guys have got you've got chain in the uh, little truck too. Uh, there's five sixteenths and three eighths in the red on that on this truck. Hold on, Dalton. Yep. We have to we have to chain the suspension okay. on here because of the air air ride. Okay. Well, I got a single hook. Hold on, there's too much too much. Hold on, if if you're not talking to me directly, lift your boom mic so that I. Red dual hooks, please. Wow, drag winch came out. Drag winch came out. Actually able to use it. Okay. Woo. We're gonna have to get some chains off of uh, that little truck. We're gonna have to get some chains off that little truck because we're gonna run out over here. Doesn't matter. That, okay, that that's a spring ride, so we do not have to... Uh, hey, Mike. Mike, since I'm getting the front axle and that rear axle, we'll just pull on the one axle. Okay. All right, so get me a line up to that, uh, that tire there. Since we're gonna have that high lift, we ought to be okay. I'll use a I'll use a drag winch down here on the front axle. We'll go down off this uh, yep. low snatch block, and then I'll run the uh, white down here yep. to this, and the blue and the blue will go to that strap. Yep. And that way, I'm getting two low pulls spiking down. This one will spike both rear axles on the trailer, and we'll get a lift with the strap on the trailer. Okay. There should be a case of water behind the seat. Since that corner's broke loose, we got to keep that corner secure. Secured with the binder. Dude, dude, just like they did up there. Go around both frames, right through that triangle space. There you go. Yep.
No, I want, I want just like we did up front. Well, they haven't got it yet. I mean, do you want it like through the bottom or through yes. the middle here? Okay. Bring it, bring it. Pick up here. You want to be all the way around both frame rails. Yeah. Right down through there, and then bring this other one up through here. I don't know if it's gonna reach. Put your binder in between it. Put okay. your binder right here. And binder it tight. This is a great time to have speed binders. Yep. Okay, now lift up on that one and get it as tight as you can. I've got the bottom holding it up. Okay. Yes, correct. Yes. On both of those, I want both on the back. And we'll need another, hey, Dalton, we need another one just like that up front on this box. So this box doesn't come loose. Right around here, just, just like you did back there. Just like you did back there. Here, that one's not, that chain's not long enough to go around the axle and the frame. Yeah. I already tried. Gonna have to get a longer chain. Yes, one red chain on the to hold the box. Now we need another red chain on the front to hold the box. Drag winch goes off the bottom of there. The white one I'll get and it'll go over here. I'll have to crank up. Oh, I know we're using the wrong color snatch blocks, but this is what's out. It'll still work. Yeah, that one's that one's pretty rough. Not sure. That's what the hard hats are for. All right. Yeah. Kind of, kind of weird up there. <laughs> I'd rather it go over the front of the axle if it can, or at least take this okay. bottom section. I can take it and bring it through here. Oh, here. And then you'll be pulling back this way on it, so it'll work out. There we go. That'll work. Yes. Get our rigging done. This truck's almost rigged. You'll have to redirect down here with another snatch block. There you go. Good there.
Here. Dalton, make sure that binder's to where we can get it. Here. No, no, no. Put it, put it in that even space in between here. Otherwise, you're going to be bending that snatch block. Or not the snatch block, but the binder. Well, here. Hold on. Good. Take that one loose. Here. Take that side loose and anchor it to your other side. That way you're getting low pull. You're redirecting from the boom down to this leg. That way you're spiking it. You're pulling it straight down. Okay. Well, you told me to leave that one on a minute ago. I meant the other snatch block. Okay. So you want this one on the other spade. This right? goes into that D-ring on that spade. This line will go straight down to that snatch block on that D-ring. You understand what I'm going for now? Yep. That way it's pulling your cleats into yeah. the ground. It, it just confused me a minute ago. Just said, Wait, that's wrong. That's yeah. Wrong. Well, I still wanted it. I still want a double line, but I wanted a low pick. Okay. Or a... All right. Let's verify everything here. That's good. Is that good and tight there, Dalton? Yeah, that's tight. That's good. That's what we want. We're good there. Good there. I will in just a minute. Hold on. All right, again, I need eyes on. Yeah. Hold on, let me get my stuff snug. Ethan, go ahead and snug yours in. I'm gonna I'm gonna start bringing some lines in just make sure we got everything cleared correct for right now yes let's see if that if we can get her going with what we've got otherwise we'll have to rig a second line to that but we've only got we've only got the two anchor points super low yeah hold on hold on just a minute please all right um i will i'm working one line at a time i got green snugged up i got white snugged up now i'm going to bring blue in and now you're on a two to one so you're going to run slower than i will We'll just have to, you, we have to be, no, just, we'll have to communicate and stay clear with each other. Let me get that one fully uh, snugged up first. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. Yep. It's all right. We'll be all right. Oop. Yep, let's. Well, that's the best we can do with it. Nope. All right. Okay, Ethan. No, hold on, hold on. All right, now let me lead with the tractor. Tell me when the uh, tractor is, a, the nose is ahead of it a little bit, Mike. All right, Ethan, come in a little bit. Whoa. All right. 
Everybody go a little at a time. Go ahead, Ethan. Bring her on up. Whoa. All right, let's go. Go, 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 go. We're rolling. Take it over. Hold, hold, hold. Let me get some, some on that box, okay? All right, ready? You got pictures, okay. All right, let's go. I am. <laughs> um, well, that's a good, good question there, Gavin. Okay, Ethan, see if you can slide yours this way some. I may have to help you with the. Here, hold on, hold on. All right, let me let me bring the blue in and see if we can slide it. All right, now go ahead. See if we can work together and bring it. There you go. Yep. Keep it coming, keep coming. With all that rock on that one side, I wanted to bring it off that little dip. Okay, now I'm gonna do this. Yep, I'm gonna do the same thing with the drives, bring them over a little. All right, that should get us to where we can take that front chain loose. All right, Ethan, I'm gonna hold just a little bit, release yours, Ethan, and see if it's gonna stand. All right. Now, hold on, I'm gonna have to start breaking everything down. I'm gonna check with the guy and see where, where we're gonna go with it. Hey, Mike. Mike, you standing there with the guy? Uh, check with him and see if he just wants to leave it here, if we're towing it somewhere. Tow it out. Tow it out. Yes, take all the rigging down, please. Hold on, let me take some pressure off. Yeah, almost all of the chains came out of the rotator. Well, that went quite well, guys. Good job. Now to get it out of here. Clear on blue. Here, let me change speeds here. You wanna take it loose from that snatch block? Oh, it'd be, be nice if we could split them. It'd be really nice if we could split them.
wood punched a hole right through the side of that thing on the, over here and wood punch uh the tree punched a hole through the side of the aluminum and we've got quite a bit of fence still attached on this low side We're gonna finish getting things wrapped up here and get it out of here. Perfect job, everything went smooth as butter. Nobody was hurt. As always, thank you for watching. God bless.